Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSC Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 for February March 2024. I am going to solve the document production task which is task 2. All other tasks are solved and uploaded. You have been supplied with the following source files. So these files are given. I have copied them to my working area. Task 1. Preparing the evidence document. Open evidence.rt. Make sure your name, center number and candidate number will appear on every page of this document. And you need to save this as evidence followed by your candidate number. So this is the evidence file. Insert header. You can use this three columns. Give your name, center number and candidate number. Now you can save this as evidence followed by your candidate number and save as Word document. Next, we are going to start the document using a suitable software package open gaming.rtf. The page setup is set to A4 landscape orientation and 2.5 margins. Do not make any changes. Two paragraph styles are defined. Do not make any changes. Save the document in your work area with the file name GA market and make sure it is saved in the format of software you are using. So this is the gaming file. First, let's save this as GA market and make sure it is saved as Word document. Place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved. Make sure that there is evidence of the file type. So let's take the screenshot of the file saved in the folder so this is the file make sure the type of the document is shown here so you can take the screenshot now and that's your first evidence step one evidence next place in the header of the ga market document the text Gaming review by followed by a space and your name, center number, and candidate number right aligned. Place the in the footer automated page numbers right aligned. So insert header. You can choose blank three columns. On the left, we don't have anything in the middle, also on the right side. You have to type gaming review by your name, center number and candidate number. And in the footer on the right side, the page number so go to page number current position you can add the page number on the left and in the center we don't have any text make sure all alignments match page margins no other text or placeholders are included headers and footers are displayed on all pages so you can see it is displayed on all pages and we don't have any other text. Select the subheading games and the following text up to and including the paragraph ending same hardware and performance. So first let's find the paragraph. So we have to start from here until the end of that paragraph which is mentioned. For that you can click on find or control F and type the words here same hardware and performance so this is the paragraph so from game till this paragraph we have to select 
now change the page layout so that only this text is displayed in two columns of equal width with a 1.5 cm space between them. So go to the layout, columns, more columns, select two columns and the spacing must be 1.5. Okay. Apply numbered bullets to the text from action games to role playing games. So this is the list select it and then choose the numbered list the numbers are aligned at the left margin the list is in single line spacing with no space after or before each line there is a six point space after the last item in the list so you need to make sure this is aligned with the left margin right click go to paragraph alignment should be left you need to move this here to the left side now right click paragraph there should be no space before or after so give zero here give ok and there should be a six point space after the last item so select only the last item right click paragraph six point give ok create and store the following style basing it on normal paragraph style ga subhead we have to create a style called GA subhead based on normal paragraph style. For that you can go to style sections here. On the scroll bar you will find create a style. Create a style. Name of the style is GA subhead. Click on modify. It should be based on normal so style based on you have to select normal style now the phone style must be serif 20 points center aligned so serif means we have to give times new roman 20 point center aligned Bold, Italic, all caps. Bold, Italic, all capitals. Go to Format, Font. Select all caps here. Give OK. Single space before and after is 0. So go to Format, Paragraph. Line spacing is single before and after zero. Make sure that there is evidence that you have based this on normal paragraph style and we have to take a screenshot of the settings. So let's take this screenshot. Give OK and OK. This will get changed if your cursor is here just bring back to body style now go to your evidence document paste the settings of the style next identify three subheadings in the document and apply ga subhead style to each one so three subheadings are there one is games video game consoles cloud game now you have to apply GA subhead style here locate and move the paragraph cloud gaming is a method to access content 
so that it appears as a new paragraph immediately after the heading cloud gaming. So let's find the paragraph. So this is the paragraph. You need to move this. So select the paragraph, cut it and you need to paste it after cloud gaming. So click here and paste it. Next place a cloud shape aligned to the right of the column and the top of the paragraph starting. There are many advantages. So this is the paragraph. There are many advantages to cloud gaming. Keep your cursor here. Go to insert shapes. You can find a cloud here in basic shapes. So draw the cloud. Format the shape so that it is resized to a width of 5 cm. So right click. Format shape. You can see the width here, 5 cm. The outside edge of the cloud is black and 3 to 4 point thick. It is filled with a light grey shade. So select this, go to shape outline, black color and the weight must be 3 to 4 points. So 3 point. Now shape fill should be a light gray. Ten to 25 percent. The text wraps around the shape. So select this, wrap text, give square. Now you can keep it on the right margin here. And the text cloud gaming in the cloud shape created in step 8. Format this to this text to display in a bold black font. Make sure the text fits within the shape and does not touch the border. So let's type cloud gaming make it black color bold should be on a single line so let's make it 10 point so that it fits within the shape next spell check and proofread the document make sure that the list is not split over two columns or pages there are no widows or orphans so first let's do spell check and proofread. Come to the beginning of the document. You can go to review, spelling and grammar. You need to check the spelling. So select spelling here. So we have one spelling mistake, realistic. So you need to change it to the correct spelling. Here. And then simulation, spelling is wrong. You can change the spelling so no more spelling mistakes next the list is not split over two columns so the list you can see the list is split here so let's break this to the next column so the list is together now next there are no widows or orphans. 
so you can see here this line the lines which are uh, alone at the end or beginning of a paragraph uh, are known as widows or orphans so let's just select the whole document right click paragraph on line and page breaks line and page breaks you have to select widow orphan control you okay so automatically all the widows orphans will be set properly there are no blank pages original styles are maintained all styles are applied consistently spacing is between consistent between all items so you can see the page so all the spacing is consistent all the styles are applied properly save the document using the same file name and format used in step 1 print the document so you can save this and this can be printed so go to file and then you can click on the print option and select your printer so this is the end of the document production next task is the database this is already done and uploaded you can find the link in the description thank you for now